Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm going to do a comparison between these two Amazon Basics single serve coffee makers. On the left I got the bigger, it's called the standard version, it retails for $50, and on the right I got the compact, it retails for $42. So these coffee makers have a lot in common, but this one on the right is called the compact, it is definitely a lot smaller. The standard one here on the left, I like the removable water reservoir. So they both have these K-cup pot adapters with a needle in the bottom. You're going to put your K-cup in and it's going to brew a K-cup or you, it's got this reusable filter. You can put your own coffee grounds in. They both hold the same amount of coffee grounds, about two and a half tablespoons. Here's what this one looks like. So here we've got the single needle at the top. Over here we've got a single needle. Very simple to operate. Put the K-cup in, put the K-cup in, close this till it snaps, close this till it's down all the way and doesn't pop back up. On the compact one, I've got to put my water in each time I want to brew. Over here, i got to make sure the water reservoir is full. And so I'm going to regulate how big a cup of coffee I brew by how much I, water I put in. And that's what those little steps are for. So just take your coffee mug. I've got 8 ounces measured out already, but just fill it up to the 8 ounce mark. Put your coffee mug under. So i got a selector button. I'm going to select what size I want to brew. I can brew 6, 8, 10, 12, or 14. I'm going to brew 8 and press the capsule button. And I'm over here, I just press the capsule button. Okay, so this one, this, the compact one, it's going to heat up the water, then turn on a water pump and shoot it through the K-cup. This one over here is kind of clicking a little bit, but in just about 30 seconds, it's gonna turn a water pump on and shoot it through the K-cup. Okay, so this, the compact one is brewing first. Be careful, the water coming out is very hot. Okay, so about 20 seconds later, the standard one is brewing. This one we end up with about 174 degree cup of coffee. Water coming out of this one is about 190. They both brew about the same temperature. There's that cup of coffee, here's this cup. Okay, so this one takes about 30 seconds, almost a minute longer than the compact one, but you both end up with a really hot cup of coffee that's really fast. Okay, so let's open up, see how the K-Cups did. We got this pot adapter we can take it out with. So I've brewed coffee using the reusable K-Cups in both of them. They both brew exactly the same. It tastes really good. It's gonna come down to convenience. Do you want a water tank that you can just put water in, select the size, and then do your brew? Or do you want something that's a lot smaller? You gotta put your own water in each time you wanna brew, but it is a little bit quicker. So size-wise, with the lid wide open, it's about 16 and a half inches. This one is almost 19 and a half inches. Front to back, on this one you're looking at about nine and a half. On the smaller one, you're looking at almost seven and a half. So for $10 more, you do get a lot more function. This is kind of a tried and true design. They sell a, a model almost identical to this at Walmart for about 20 bucks. This is 40 bucks right now, and this is 50. Um, I did have a few problems getting the water tank on. Make sure when you put it on, don't just set it on there. Make sure you push it down. So I did find that to be a problem. Getting the lid on this one to snap close. Um, it does close each time. You just don't always hear the snap. This does have a, a drip tray that goes up and down, which is nice. I did find when the coffee mug is down low, it does splatter a little bit. But when you can move the coffee mug up, it eliminates all the splatter. Wattage-wise, that's 1,000 watts for the smaller one, and the bigger one is 1,200 watts. If you could give the thumbs up, I'd really appreciate it. I'll put a link to both of these in the show description notes. If you click on the little words that say, See More, it'll open up right below the video that you'll see See More. Click on that, and it brings up a full written description of the video. In there, you'll see some links to Amazon. If you click on it, it'll take you right to the product. Um, I am an Amazon affiliate. If you click on the product, the product won't cost you anymore, but I do get a commission from the sale. It's a way of supporting my channel. I really appreciate everybody's support. Everybody's been very supportive. If there's a comparison you'd like to see in the future, leave it in the comments. And again, thanks everybody for your support. And if you could, please hit the thumbs up button. That's the like button and subscribe. Thank you so much.